hi guys um welcome to another vlog i was gonna say good morning but i don't know what time the vlog is going up today is what's today october the 6th and i'm getting ready to head out for a photo shoot but i wanted to bring you guys along with me but before we head out i wanted to do i feel like i have hair in my eye yeah before we head out i wanted to sit down and do like a proper intro and talk to you guys for a little bit before we just jump into the vlog it is currently 6 30 a.m and today is wednesday uh my birthday passed my birthday was last monday y'all i turned 33 i feel old i feel grown but i just feel super blessed this year has been so good um and it was just a good birthday i stay in the house i watch I've been watching Animal Kingdom on Netflix, but I actually binge watch a show called Tell Me Your Secrets on, is it on Amazon? I believe it's on, sorry. I believe it's on Amazon. I watched that on Amazon. I didn't do anything all day. I just kind of relaxed in the house. Um, and it was a good day. I stayed off of social media. I enjoy myself. It was a good birthday. So I am 33, yay. I'm old, I'm old. <laughs> but yeah, today's Thursday. I'm getting ready to head out for this photo shoot. I'm driving down to my girlfriend. I don't know if it's down or up. But I'm driving to my girlfriend Vivian's place. She lives in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. She's about like an hour and 40 minutes from me. She have a photo shoot today with her photographer. So I'm going to be bumping their photo shoot. I'm going to be joining in because I have a lot of sponsored content that is due and I don't have anyone to shoot it um, in the area, my new state. I have been looking for photographers in Delaware, but I haven't been lucky to find any yet, but I'm still looking. You guys who've been subscribed to the channel for a while now know that my cousin was the one who was taking my photos back in um, Jersey, but she went to New York. Um, I don't know if she's still in Jersey, but I think she went back to New York and I'm here. I'm hoping that she will move here. If you're watching, Marie, you need to move here because my life is a mess without you. <laughs> but yeah, things have just been like super hectic. That's why I haven't been as active on YouTube. Um, I've been a little flaky. Since I moved into the space, you guys see, I brought my couch um, into the apartment. I brought my couch. Initially, I wasn't going to bring the couch because I was like, oh, I'm not going to bring my nice couch. I'm going to save her for when I get my house. But then when I came into the apartment, I was like, you know what? I don't know how long I'm going to be here and I want to be comfortable. I don't want to hold on to things for like special occasions. I want to be comfortable. I want to be happy where I'm at, like where I'm at now. I don't have to wait for later. <laughs> So I brought the couch, I set it up, uh, I brought my bed, and I just been super comfortable in the apartment. But another thing is, I haven't been really creative because I don't have a lot of space. I'm someone who likes space. I don't like clutter. Clutter? I don't like clutter. clutter. <laughs> I can't speak. I like clean, um, minimum space. It doesn't... It makes me work better. When I wake up and there's things everywhere and the place is just a lot. I get overwhelmed and I can't work and I can't function. That's the reason I have not been doing a lot of YouTube videos because I just don't have that space, that creative space where I can do stuff. So every time I go into the other room that I created to shoot videos, um, I just get so overwhelmed because I have all of my store stuff in there. If you don't know, I also launched my fall collection and it is out now. So I have all of my store inventory in there it's just a lot it's a lot so every time i walk in there there's boxes here there's clothes here there's rags i get so overwhelmed and i don't even want to be in there i'll just like close the door and walk out so that's the reason i haven't been um super creative with like videos i haven't been feeling like doing videos and stuff i haven't i don't have like a office space where i can sit down and work on my computer and i'm just weird like that like i need a certain environment to be able to work but i'm doing a 30-day reels challenge challenge over on instagram and i did that to just kind of like force myself to I be that i wasn't active on youtube i wasn't active on instagram i was just kind of like doing sponsor stuff and i didn't start of uh, doing youtube and doing instagram to do sponsor content yes i would like to make money because i want to pay my bills but that's not the reason that i got into it i got into it because i genuinely enjoy doing styling videos doing hauls doing photos that's the reason i do it so I noticed that I was just doing a lot of sponsor stuff and I wasn't really just being creative and doing content that I enjoy, that you guys enjoy. So I said, I'm going to push myself to do this 30-day 
30 days of reels over on Instagram just to get my juice flowing and then I'm gonna try to be more consistent on YouTube um but yeah that's what's been going on that's the reason I've been MIA I just been trying to adjust to this new space I love the space even though I said the apartment is not all of that it's not like luxury but I really love the apartment because it's just so quiet when you come in here you walk in the energy just feels so right it's just so calming and I, I really like being here I just don't like the fact that I don't have a designated space where I can do work um, for example I have a liquor campaign that I have to shoot today and I have to rent a space I don't even know if I'm gonna get the space because I'm waiting to see if it gets approved I put in the request for the space It's in Lancaster too, where where Vivian is um, and it's just like a nice little, I think it's a house. She have like a cute dining room, a nice kitchen, nice living room setup. So I figure I can go over there and shoot my liquor campaign there. It's supposed to be like a Friendsgiving holiday kind of theme. And I don't have a dining room table here. The kitchen table here, the kitchen is not really the nicest for like content creating. And there's really nowhere for me to do it. So, um... I have to rent a space and that space cost me like almost four hundred dollars it's like 370 something for three hours so all of that is just like oh my god and it's not even about the money too because i don't mind spending money when i'm creating content especially if i'm gonna make enough from it but then i have to rent the space and then i have to drive all the way over there then i have to find a photographer over there then I have to drive all the way back like it's a lot <laughs> and I have to get props I have to do this so I will be more comfortable if that was like my own home you know like I'm in my comfort zone I can set it up it gives me time to prepare blah 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 I'm talking a lot but you guys get the gist so that's why it's so important <laughs> to have a nice house or a nice living situation so when you have to create content you don't have to like step out a lot of the time when you guys see the influencer as the and the content creator and they have this like amazing airy space that's the reason why it just makes it so much easier for you to do your work it really does and i've been feeling it um since i've been in this apartment the past month and a half like i really felt it like i haven't been feeling creative because i just did not have the space to do the things that i want to do and i've been like doing little things with the apartment like bringing the couch bringing my furniture like just doing little setups here and there just to I even bought a plant maybe we'll do an apartment tour um sometime soon this is nothing special but I just been bringing little things just to kind of like make it feel very homey and kind of nice because I like nice things <laughs> I do like nice things so yeah that's what's been going on um so the plan is I am gonna get Ethan out of bed I'm gonna get him ready for school see what time we still have a little bit of time i'm gonna get him ready for school he normally takes the bus but i think i'm gonna drop him off to try to like save a little bit of time so i'll get him ready i'll drop him off to school and then i might make a stop at walmart i want to pick up some like barbie pins safety pins i think they're safety not safety pins like um not barbie pins safety pins i think that's what they're called diaper pins well i have to pick up some pins because i'm doing sponsor content for jc penny and taylor and who else i'm forgetting walmart and you guys know i am petite so a lot of the time the clothes don't fit me and i don't have time to take it in because um a lot of the content i do i'm kind of behind they're due they were due on monday today is wednesday but i didn't have a photographer so i'm doing it today and i don't have time to take the clothes in so i'm just gonna get some pins and just like pin them pin them in and hope that it works so i have about 10 outfits that i'm going to be shooting for like my sponsor fashion content and then i have the liquor campaign that i'm going to attempt to shoot i hope that the space that i requested for gets approved because if it doesn't get approved then i'm going to have to make another plan to shoot it tomorrow which is thursday and it's due on friday so look at any houses since i looked at that last house i think looking at that last house just kind of like opened my eye um have me realize that it's gonna cost me a lot of money to get the house that i really want so i decided to wait till next year well i was gonna wait till next year anyway but i was looking to see if something really popped up that i love then i was gonna try to get it this year um but i've decided to just wait for next year and see if like the market slowed down and if i can save more money because the house prices are like extremely high um, so if I want something really nice, I need to have like a really good down payment and I want to be prepared <laughs> like really, really, I feel like I'm prepared, 
but then I feel like I'm not prepared. I don't know if I'm just scared and nervous because I honestly have more money saved up now for the house than I did for my last house or that I've ever done before. But yet at the same time, I'm just so nervous and afraid and I feel like I'm not ready. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I'm scared. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at with the house hunting. So I have not looked at any houses yet. I'm going to wait till after the holiday, maybe like January, February. Um, people say in the winter time, it kind of slows down. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that in the winter it will slow down and I'll find something nice or there'll be some lots that are going to open up and then we can start building. So yeah, that's where we're at. Also, in other news, I started dating on my, well, not really dating, but right before my birthday, I signed up for a dating app because I was like, okay, I'm going to be 33. I'm getting old. If I want to get married again, have another kid, I need to like really take dating serious because I, I, I really don't have time for men. I pay men no attention. I don't go anywhere with the intention to meet any men. And if I do meet guys, I don't pay them any mind. If people try to take me on date, I don't even really answer their calls. I give people my number, but I don't answer my call, answer their calls. So I say, okay, I'm 33. I have to be intentional about dating. I have to like seriously date people, go out, make an effort. The way I make an effort with everything else, I have to make an effort with dating. So I signed up for a dating app. I've already been on three dates. I'm really excited about going on dates only because now I get to wear all of the clothes that I have in my closet. <laughs> so I might do like a date night or um, dating outfit video because I've been going on on dates and I'm excited about it. I'm not even excited about the men. I'm just excited about getting dressed. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited about getting dressed and going out. That's about it. That's the life update. Um, I don't know if I forgot anything else. I think that's it. But I'm going to try to be more... I'm going to try to be consistent with the videos. Check out my fall collection if you have not. And yeah, let me get up. I'm going to go get Ethan's, Ethan ready for school. He's going to do breakfast. And then we're going to head out and we'll bring you guys along. As you can see, my makeup, my hair, everything is already done. All of the clothes is loaded up in my car. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope everything goes well. Pray for me that I'm able to shoot all of my sponsor content today. Because when I do, it's just like a weight. It's lifted off my shoulders. So hopefully I'm able to get everything done today. If not, we'll see how the day goes. I'm staying positive. Look at my handsome guy. He is ready for school. Mm -hmm. You got your hoodie on. You look cute. Where's your shirt from? It's from H and M. Okay. Snickers is from H and M too. Let me see your shoes. You cute. Turn around. Let me see your little backpack. Backpack is from Walmart. He is ready. You ready? Yeah. All right. Hop in the car. All right. We're locked and loaded. And get your seatbelt on. You know you can't wear the hoodie in school. You can't have the hood on in school. School. You have to take the hoodie off. Not the hoodie off, but the hood off your head. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can wear it now, but when you get in school, you have to take it off your head. You understand? Okay, I'm going to get hot. You're not going to get hot, but you can. The teacher can't be teaching and you have a hood on your head. You have to take it off so she can see your face. Like this? You can't do it like that when you're sitting in class. So we're loaded. This is all of my stuff for photo shoot, photo shoot, camera. Ethan camera this is all the alcohol in here in this box <laughs> such a struggle to do photos here but look at this little spot I love it I want to 
doing a picture over there. But I am heading to meet up with Vivian. Um, she sent me a location. That is a cute wall too to do photos. I don't know if you guys can see over there. So a few homeless people there, but it's cute. I am excited. It was such a good drive, guys. It was a great drive. I love um Ooh, the light. Turn left onto North Line I Street. love driving on like old country roads because it is just so quiet. There's no traffic. There's no like angry people blowing horn at you. It was so nice. And I was just jamming to gospel music and having a good old time. So I definitely enjoyed the drive here. In half a mile, and turn left onto East James Street. That's my GPS. But yeah, it's, it's super cute over here. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Oh, is that a church? That is nice. Let me give Vivian a call and let her know I'm here and we can try to figure out some other spots that we are going to shoot today. I hope it goes well. Oh, I love that door. That's such a pretty door. This is why I like small towns. They have, they have, um, such amazing characters and the architecture is just so beautiful. And then there's just always little like, um, seasonal, seasonal, what's the word I'm looking for? Seasonal decorations up <laughs> it's just so cute it looks so unique uh, but yeah get back to you guys later right. hi guys i forgot to um let you guys know that i am here i am on my second outfit this is from walmart and vivian is out shooting with the photographer yo i'm so weird like i'm very particular about my images and where i shoot so i'm just like mm, the same it i'm already here and these content are due so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot it the space that I rented, I did end up canceling that space because Vivian, my girlfriend, she knows um, someone down here that has a cake shop. So I'm gonna do the photo shoot at the cake shop. I'm mad though, cause they took $50 fee for like canceling, but I guess that's better than 300 and something dollars. So, but yeah, let me change my clothes. I think this is gonna be the last outfit that I'm gonna shoot because I don't wanna waste my time if I don't really like the photos and I don't like the location. And the photographer have to leave in like 45 minutes. So I don't wanna be like running around and doing things that I don't wanna do. <laughs> well, things that's not really beneficial to me because I'm not gonna use those photos. I'm weird like that. So I'll shoot this last outfit because this is due today and I'll try to get this up today. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted from here. After I'm done with this outfit, I'm gonna run to the nearest grocery stores to look for some props um, for the liquor campaign and maybe get some balloons. And I'll let Vivian wrap up her shoe. But I'll keep you guys posted. I'll be back. At the cake place now um, I'm gonna go in I feel like all of my curls drop and my hair just look kind of sad <laughs> but Vivian's parking her car we're gonna head in I'll give you guys a quick little tour before we get started on the shoe hopefully it goes well because my hair looks a mess and I didn't bring my curling iron so we're gonna try to make it work I was able to shoot some things but I haven't been feeling well I've been very like I don't know what the right word is just feeling very sluggish so i'm not sure what's going on with me it could be um almost that time of the month <laughs> i mean it is almost that time of the month so it could just be that but i'm trying to keep my energy up and my spirit bright so we are gonna head in and i'll give you guys a tour let me grab the stuff and i'll be back i'll be back i'll be back <laughs> yes, you was. Vivian's here. She's all in shimmer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so we have this box of liquor, and then I have some stuff here that I got from. I didn't really get much. It's gonna be very dry, but yeah, we're gonna make it work. 
and I'm gonna grab the outfits from the back seats. Yeah. And that's it. Um, praying for a smooth shoot. <laughs> yep. So guys, we're here in this fabulous setting. How, why are everybody so quiet now? <laughs> no, you don't have to be quiet. Okay, well, do your thing. Look at this cake. It's just absolutely stunning. I'll give you guys a tour. I'll put all the information for you guys to come in and check him out. They do wedding cakes. Absolutely. That's the fabulous Vivian. Well, she's gonna use the camera, but I'm just setting up some behind the scenes. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they send two bottles. Oh. Okay. So why don't you do this? You you don't have to return it back, right? No, I don't. Because you're drinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, put some in here. I do. I'm going to have to get the ice. open. Thing in here. You can need. You can oh no, you guys. They don't want the they one, open one in the shop. The one. Yeah. They want it closed. The, one, the full one, one in the, the shop. I don't know why. Is it like the extra ones to just still have it in here? That doesn't make any sense because it doesn't look realistic. Exactly. You have to have it open. Yeah, but I opened this one to have it in the glass. So it's so the nice. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Don't I guess they don't ice. want to promote. They don't want to promote drinking. Yeah. So they, don't even put ice because we it's going to have it on ice. You don't have to because you're going to be far away. If you're very close, okay. then. We'll do a close-up shot. Far, you want to do close-up yeah, shot too? Yeah, of the bottle and the drink. So don't do that first. Yeah, yes. I would recommend just by itself. New house so should be. It should make, be all glass. I love it. We have our little board set up. We're about to shoot the Friendsgiving. We did the birthday. It went well. She did awesome. She's a good photographer. Why can't you have somebody? So next, we're going to do the Friendsgiving. Prop. We just put this together really quickly. So it comes together nice. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. It's Saturday. I'll put the date on the screen. Um, but I did not vlog yesterday, but it was a busy day. I took my son to Jersey in the morning and then I stopped by my um, hairstylist and got my hair done because she lives in Jersey. So every time I go to Jersey, I do my hair. So I got my hair done. I went to a party with my girlfriend last night and this morning I am heading to Maryland. I'm excited. I have a 24 hour date. <laughs> I know you guys are like, what the heck is that? But, um... I'm talking really fast because I'm in a hurry. I'm late. I met this guy on a dating app. I told you guys I started online dating. I met this guy. We've been on three dates. He came down the day after my birthday. Um, that was our first date. We met. We had a good time. He actually brought me a birthday present, which I just love. It made me so happy because I think I spoke to him like a few days before my birthday um on the app and he was like what are you doing on monday and i was like oh monday is my birthday i'm not doing much and i was so surprised that the day we met up he actually remember that um monday we met on wednesday and he remembered that monday was my birthday and he brought me a nice little gift it was all wrapped up it had a bow on it 
and it just made me so excited. I was super happy. <laughs> I love presents, clearly. But I thought that was super, super thoughtful. Um, and then he came down again another day and took me out for lunch. And then he came down again and took me out for dinner another day. <laughs> and he lives in Maryland. It's about an hour and a half away. And he been down here three times to take me on the date. So when we made plans this when we made plans for this Saturday, I said, you know what, I'll drive down to Maryland because you already drove down here three times. And I feel like it's only fair that I take the drive there. And his birthday is on Wednesday. This Wednesday coming up. We're both Libra. Libras are the best. So his birthday is coming up. So we made plans for today. And I said I would drive down there today. So he wanted me to go to um, Maryland for the whole weekend. And I was just like, no. One, I don't know you like that yet. <laughs> and two, I don't give my entire weekend to somebody just like that. I have a lot of crap to do. So I'll, how about I come and spend the entire day and we'll do like a full day of activities and then um, I'll come back. But then he suggested that it was going to be too late for me to come back. So he ended up um, booking me a hotel room. He have his own place, but he's going to stay at his place and I'll stay at the hotel and then I'll come home tomorrow morning. So I'll try to vlog um, what I can, but I probably won't be able to vlog much. We're just getting to know each other and it'll be weird for me to just like be on my phone I'm vlogging. But I wanted to touch base with you guys and show we you my plan outfit. a full day, which I'm really excited about. I love um, doing activities and I like when people plan stuff so I don't have to plan it myself because usually with guys, I tend to plan most of the things. So I was really excited that he planned some stuff. So this morning we are going to brunch. Um, he found a really nice place in Maryland. I'll put the name on the screen here for you guys. And it is black owned. So we're gonna go do brunch there. Um, let me show you guys my outfit. I have on my favorite pedal and pub dress. It's super cute. And then I have this belt on from my boutique. A lot of you guys bought this belt. And then on my feet I have, it's like 70 degrees today. The highest is gonna be 72. So it's not too warm but it's not too cold but this dress is long sleeve and it's pretty warm but it's still cute and then i have this little brown sandals on because we're going to be doing um a lot of walking after brunch and then i have my favorite little bag i think i bought this bag from outdoor yeah this is the bag that i'm wearing yeah, and it's my dress i love this dress it's so cute um you guys saw my pedal and pub haul i love 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 pedal and pub I feel like they have the cutest dresses. I have another collaboration coming with them in November that I'm super excited about because I just want to get some really cute pieces from that <laughs> from them. I love all of the items that they have in store. So this is the dress that I'm wearing for the day. And then um, after brunch, we are going to the aquarium. We're going to see a 3D octopus octopus show. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> We're going to see that show, and then after that, we're probably just going to walk around at the Baltimore Inner Harbor. I don't know if it's Baltimore Harbor or Maryland Harbor. Well, either way, we're going to walk around at the Inner Harbor, just hang out, and then do dinner later at night, and probably do a movie. All depends on how it goes. And then I'll go back to my room, I'll sleep, in the morning we'll have breakfast, and then I'll head back. So, it's a pretty full day. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. So let's go have some fun. And I actually want to shop. I want to shop. I know they have a couple of stores at the Inner Harbor. So I want to see if I can pick up some full items because I have not bought anything in like two months and I just been dying to purchase something. So yeah, I'm excited. So we'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys. So I made it to Maryland. I'm here. The hotel is super nice. <laughs> I'll give you guys a quick tour of the lobby. But um, I got in an accident on my way here. As soon as I got off my exit, someone literally ran into my car. So I'm trying not to look too stressed and I'm trying not to be mad and just trying my best to enjoy this weekend. It was not a bad accident. Like it could have been worse. That's how I try to look at it, but it wasn't that bad. Um, Police came, we did all of the exchanging contact insurance. I filed a claim already and I could still drive my car. So it's not that bad, but that just like, I was like, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> um, I literally just got off the exit and he came from somewhere else and just like 
ran straight into me. So I don't know what was up with that. But let me give you guys a quick tour before my date get here. I want to try to see if I can get a picture in the lobby because my outfit would look so cute here. But um, is it too soon to ask him to take a picture? <laughs> I don't want to be too weird be like can you take a picture of me and then have him take like a million because i don't like any of the ones that he takes um we'll see but i really want to try to get a picture in this lobby it's so cute let me give you guys a quick tour oh my god is this not a vibe yes so cute y'all look at this table it's everything. There right, you go. This table, oh my God, I am obsessed. I love the yellow. I love the wood. This is like giving me a dining room, dining room table inspo because I just love it. It's so cute. Um, and I was talking about this table earlier. Look at these tables, y'all. Are they not everything? They are gorgeous. Oh, so much character I love it here it's so cute <laughs> I haven't really seen the room yet and I'm like I love it here I'm so extra <laughs> oh, I want to see if I can get a picture in the lobby fun trip um in maryland it was a great weekend i want to say a great 24 hour because it wasn't technically a entire weekend but i had such a good time um i am parked in the parking lot of christiana moore christiana christiana moore in maryland um, i visited the h&m at the inner harbor and you guys saw that i pick up two coats i'll show you guys the coats i'm gonna see if there's someone that i can put my phone down and show you guys the coats and i love 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 them my nose is so shiny but i realized that i have not been in h&m in a while i haven't really shopped in a while and it just felt so good to get something and i love those coats so much so i wanted to run into h&m and see what they have if i do find anything else that i like i'll do an h&m haul 
Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the two coats because I am going to wrap up this vlog. But I wanted to show you guys the items that I found. Um, my outfit. We went out for breakfast this morning before I left. And I am wearing a pair of high-waisted blue jeans and then a white button-up shirt. I couldn't find my necklace. I don't know what I did with it. And I love this shirt. I used to carry this as my at my boutique. Um, let's see if I can get the back. The back is, is open. Oh, this is kind of tough. Because the shirt is open like that. It's kind of hard to show you guys because I'm sitting down. But that's what the shirt looks like. It's cute. A very simple yet very cute outfit. I like it. And then I wore my same bag. I wore the same bag all weekend. But I'm so obsessed with these coats. Let me go ahead and see where I can put you guys. And I will try the coat on really quick and show you. But I'll probably do an h and haul. But I want to show it before I wrap up this vlog. Let's see what can I put this from. All right. Let me grab the coat and show you guys. I am so excited about this coat. Um, you guys won't be able to see my full body. So I'll probably pop up a picture. If it's on the H&M website and I found, and I found it, I will pop the picture up here. Um, but this is my shirt. This is my shirt. It's long kind of weird <laughs> and then the back is open like that but i feel like i've <laughs> is this a weird position i feel like i've shared this shirt with you guys before in the hall i could have just gotten home and show you guys this but um i feel like when i get home i'm gonna be like wrapped up doing other things ethan is on his way back home and i won't have time to talk to you guys but this is the first one that i pick up i wore this one last night to dinner over my dress y'all i love it it is like a brown trench, very lightweight. So it's good for now where it's not too hot. Um, I love the flap. I love the fabric. I love the color. And then they have a, a belt in the back. It ties, it is detachable. And I wore it this morning for breakfast too over this outfit because it was a bit chilly. Let me see how far my seat could go back. This is a Isn't weird she a beauty. Oh my God, I am obsessed. Look at that. beautiful i love it and this is how i wore it this morning with this outfit and then i tied it oh so good <laughs> i'm so excited i couldn't wait to get home to show you guys i just had to you this is it and it's long it's gorgeous. If this is available online, guys, go ahead and get it because it's a great um, coat to have now um, for the fall season. And it was forty nine dollars, which I feel like is which I feel like is not a bad price point. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great, and it matched really well with my well. It matched well with a lot of my pocketbooks that I have, but it looks good with this outfit that I had on today. So. Really excited about this coat, $49. It does come in like a lighter color. Maybe get the lighter color because I really like it. So yeah, let me try the other one on and I'll show you guys. All right, so this is the other coat that I got. Are you guys ready for it? Oh, this is a little bit heavier, um, but I think this is a great coat for winter when it starts really getting cold. I have something similar from where is it from? From, I want to say, Nordstrom. I have something similar from Nordstrom last year, now that I think about it. This is this one. And I love the color. I love that it have pockets. Does it have pockets? Yeah, it does have pockets. I feel like I'm doing a haul. <laughs> it's so cute. And this was also $49, $59. Wow, I didn't look at the price. $59. And I got this in a size extra small. This is a great color to have. For winter i'm already starting my winter coat collection so i'm very very happy about this i love it oh my god i can't wait for it to get cold so i can wear this coat it's beautiful yes i don't want to leave my collar out i'll put it in maybe oh it doesn't really matter yep this is what it looks like y'all is she gorgeous? Oh, love it. I love coats like this because they remind me of like structured blazers. And you guys know how much I love blazers. So I love, 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 love a good tailor coat. That's the color. Mm, she's beautiful. 
and I got in a size extra small but it still have enough space in there where I can put a sweater underneath so I'm really happy about that that's my other coat from Abercrombie I took that from home just in case I needed a coat and then I didn't end up wearing it because I was wearing these but let me take this off let me take this off because I'm super hot and those are the only two items that I bought from H&M because like I said I was on a date and I didn't want to take the time to do a full on shopping spree the first time I am supposed to be spending time with someone that I don't think that's appropriate but yeah my friend the guy that I went to visit for the weekend well I keep saying weekend but for the day he called me a few minutes before I try on the other coat <laughs> and I was telling him that um I'm gonna run into the H&M here and see if they have this coat in the lighter color and if they do I'm gonna grab it but then he was like, oh, if they don't, just let me know. And then I'll grab it from the one in the one that we saw at the harbor. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet of you. But you don't have to. I can just order it from online. He was like, no, if they don't have it, I'll buy it. So maybe I won't buy it and I'll just let him buy it and use his money. <laughs> I'm going to run into H&M. If I, like I said, if I get enough stuff, I'll do a haul. But I'm not going to vlog because the vlog is just going to get too long. I don't even really know where we're at at this point. But I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, spending the weekend. I hope you guys enjoy watching the vlog. I know I couldn't show you guys too much. I keep saying you guys. Is that annoying? I feel like it's annoying. <laughs> um, I know I couldn't show you guys too much of Maryland because, you know, can't be vlogging and be trying to go out with someone that you were just now getting to know. But hopefully, I'll go back. I really enjoy my time in Maryland. So maybe I'll go back um, on like a girl's trip or a solo weekend trip. And then I'll do a better job vlogging. I'm thinking about taking my son because there was just so much activities around there that I know that he would enjoy. They had like a pirate ship, a pirate ship that you could like... Um, ride on over the water over the harbor and then they had like those little kids ducky things that you can ride over the water and then they had the aquarium they had so much cool stuff over there that i think my son would enjoy so i'm thinking i'm gonna plan a trip with him there one of this one of these weekends and then if i do i'll bring you guys along but i'm talking too much if i hanging out with me and i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye for now